This is the Aurora Optima fountain pen. Aurora is an Italian pen company that was founded back in 1919. They appear to be gaining popularity in the last 20 years overseas. Uh, only about 45% of their pens are sold in Italy. Most of them are sold overseas. So this pen is absolutely gorgeous. As soon as I opened the box, I just fell in love with this pen. It reminds me, or it's reminiscent of an old uh, Parker Duo fold. It's probably this bulbous kind of pen clip. It's just a similar design, although the cap band wasn't quite as wide on the Duo fold. So anyway, let's go ahead and unscrew that and show you this beautiful nib. Um, you can see in the gift box that it comes in, or you can't see what it says, but it basically says it's a 14 karat gold, solid gold nib, and it is gorgeous. Um, I don't know if the camera's going to pick up all of the detail, but on my website you can find more close-up pictures of this nib. Um, it, like I said, it is a 14 karat gold nib. It is extra wide in terms of the width of the pen versus the width of the nib. It is a very large nib and has a lot of um, delicate engraving. There's some filigree work on there. There's a circle in the center that's stamped 14K uh, for 14 karat gold. And then near the bottom, it's um, stamped with the word Aurora. Absolutely gorgeous pen. Um, it comes in, the, the one that I'm holding is the marbled blue. It also comes in a marbled burgundy and a marbled green. And you get your choice of either gold or chrome plated trim on everything except the green. I believe the green is only available in the gold trim. Um, this is an expensive fountain pen. It retails for roughly $475 US. Um, out of reach for some people, but if you're looking for an heirloom to hand down, this, this is one to go for. I mean, it's just gorgeous. It's a piston fill pin, which means that you just turn the knob on this here, and there's a piston that moves up and down inside of the pin that will um, suck the ink in if you want to go ahead and dip it into the ink and fill up the body of the pin with ink. Um, on the pin clip itself, there's a little Greek key design. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's um, painted black, and the Greek keys go all the way around top and bottom of the pin clip. In the center, there's uh, ridges that are delicately engraved, and then the words Aurora Italy are kind of in relief against those ridges. And it's nice because it does give you a little grip for when you're twisting on and off that cap. Um, gives you a little bit of traction there for your thumb. It's a tension fit clip, which means it'll slide right into your pocket fairly easily. The ends, the derby cap, and the um, piston knob are both black with that blue, gorgeous blue marble in the middle. It's only two turns to get the cap off, which is nice. I don't really care for screw-on caps just because it slows down my writing experience, but it is nice if it does have to be a screw-on that it only takes one or two turns to get it off. Um, this pen is uh, a little short and stubby, but it is a beautiful pen. It's 125 millimeters capped, 121 millimeters uncapped. That's a thick pen. Um, it's 15 millimeters, I'm sorry, 14 millimeters at its widest point, which would be at the cap band right here. And at the grip point, it's a, just a standard nine millimeter, so it doesn't feel as wide as it looks. Um, it looks a lot wider than it feels because where you would grip the pen is just your normal standard place. So I guess I was going to um, show you how to ink this pen. So let me just move some stuff out of the way and just I'll do a quick dip test for you. This is my Diamine, I don't know if I'm slaughtering the name of that, um, ink Sargasso C. I'm just going to dip it under the ink there for a couple of seconds and let it take some in through the vent hole. Kind of tap it on the side, move my ink bottle out of the way and Look at that mucked up nib. Oh, covers up all that beauty that's underneath that. Let me just wipe that off. Get that ink off so that we can see how it writes. So I'll move out that other way. So this is the Aurora Optima. This, by the way, um, is an absolutely gorgeous writing pen. The nib is buttery smooth. I know that Aurora is known for having a little bit of tooth in their nibs. At least that's what you read about everywhere. Not so with the Op Optima. Um, with the Ypsilon, which is another Aurora pen, that one is quite toothy, but the Optima, not at all. It is buttery smooth. So if you're looking for an Optima that's beautiful, but writes buttery smooth, this is the pen for you. If you'd like more information on this pen or just like to see a more detailed review and some close-up photos, you can check out my website at uh, bestfountainpen.com.